What makes Buenos Aires hold such a significant spot on the world map? Well, imagine a city that's not just a bustling cultural hub, but also a geographic titan with an irreplaceable role in the economy and logistics of an entire continent. Today, we're diving into the history and geography of Buenos Aires, a city predestined since its founding to become an inevitable power in Latin America. We'll unravel how its strategic location and abundant natural resources have shaped its destiny and influenced trade, agriculture and even regional politics. From the arrival of European explorers in the early 16th century to its stature today as a crucial agricultural hub and vital export infrastructure, Buenos Aires has always held a privileged position. We'll discover how this city, nestled where the Parana and Uruguay rivers meet to form the vast Rio de la Plata estuary, has taken advantage of its geographic gifts to thrive. So join us as we explore the geographical significance of Buenos Aires, the heart of Latin America. Our journey begins in the 16th century with the arrival of Spanish explorers. Picture this, a time when the world was still largely uncharted and the lure of unexplored territories and untold wealth drove men to venture into the unknown. The Spanish explorers seeking to expand their empire and claim new riches set sail towards the new world, their eyes set on the vast and fertile Rio de la Plata region. Upon their arrival, they found a land rich in resources with a network of waterways that promised easy navigation and trade. It was here, at a strategic point where the Parana River and the Uruguay River converged, that they decided to lay the foundation of what would come to be known as Buenos Aires. This choice of location, at the heart of a vast estuary, was not a mere whim, but a calculated decision that would have far-reaching consequences. Buenos Aires, with its fertile soil and accessibility via water, was perfectly poised to become a significant trade hub. The city's location on the estuary of the Rio de la Plata, one of the largest waterways in the world, offered the explorers a gateway to the heart of the continent. Its proximity to the vast agricultural regions of Argentina made it a natural hub for the transport and trade of agricultural goods. The foundation of Buenos Aires marked the beginning of a new era in the history of Latin America. The city, once a distant outpost of the Spanish Empire, soon grew into a bustling metropolis, its growth fueled by the rich resources of its hinterland and its strategic location at the crossroads of major trade routes. The city's growth was not without challenges. Overcrowding, urban overheating and rising sea levels posed significant threats. Yet, with each challenge, the city found new opportunities, leveraging its geographic advantages to drive its economic and cultural development. The founding of Buenos Aires was a pivotal moment in the history of Latin America. The city's unique geographic position and the vision of its founders set it on a path to become one of the continent's most important economic and cultural hubs. Their choice of location was no coincidence, but a calculated decision with far-reaching consequences. Buenos Aires, a city uniquely positioned on a global scale. It sits at a geographic crossroads where the majestic Parana River and the Uruguay River confluence to form the mighty Rio de la Plata estuary. This estuary isn't just an impressive natural spectacle, it's also one of the world's largest waterways, an aquatic highway that has been crucial for trade and transportation since time immemorial. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer scale of this. The Parana River, one of the longest rivers in the world, winds its way through three countries before reaching Buenos Aires. The Uruguay River, though shorter, still contributes a significant volume of water to this estuary. Where they meet, they create a waterway so wide that from Buenos Aires, you can't see the other side. It's more like a sea than a river, and it's this vast body of water that has shaped the destiny of Buenos Aires. This unique geography has made Buenos Aires a crucial hub for the transport of goods. From the earliest days of Spanish colonization, ships would sail up the Rio de la Plata, laden with goods from Europe. They would dock at Buenos Aires where the goods would be unloaded, processed, and then shipped out to the rest of the continent. This gave Buenos Aires a central role in the economy of the region, a role that it still plays today. But it's not just about trade. The Rio de la Plata estuary is also a rich source of fish and other aquatic resources. 
Buenos Aires has always been a city of fishermen, and the estuary has provided a bountiful harvest for centuries. Even today, fishing remains an important part of the city's economy and culture. So Buenos Aires is not just a city. It's a city shaped by water, by the coming together of two great rivers to form an estuary that has been a lifeline for trade, a source of food, and a pathway for exploration and discovery. This geographical privilege has played a pivotal role in shaping the city's destiny. The fertile land of Buenos Aires, a treasure trove of agricultural wealth. Imagine a patchwork quilt of green, gold and brown, stretching as far as the eye can see. That's what you'd behold if you could fly over the sprawling agricultural provinces surrounding Buenos Aires. This city doesn't stand alone. It's the beating heart of an agricultural powerhouse that spans across Argentina's most productive provinces, such as Cordoba, Santa Fe, and Buenos Aires province itself. These fertile lands, blessed by nature and cultivated by hardworking farmers, produce a significant percentage of the world's soybeans, corn, and sunflowers. The story of Buenos Aires as an agricultural hub is a tale of soil and seed, of weather and water, and above all, of a deep understanding of the land cultivated over generations. But what makes Buenos Aires and its surrounding provinces such fertile ground? The secret lies in the soil and the climate. The Pampas, a vast plain that stretches across the heart of Argentina, is home to some of the world's most fertile soil. This soil, combined with a temperate climate and abundant rainfall, creates the perfect conditions for agriculture. It's not just about what grows in the ground, though. The agricultural prowess of Buenos Aires is also about what happens after the harvest. The city's infrastructure, logistics and strategic location play a crucial role in getting these goods from the field to the global market. In a world increasingly concerned about food security, Buenos Aires, with its agricultural might, has an important role to play. As a leading producer and exporter of food, the city is not just feeding Argentina, but also contributing to the world's food supply. But agriculture is more than just a business or an industry. It's a way of life, a tradition passed down through generations. In Buenos Aires and its surrounding provinces, the rhythm of life is set by the seasons, the planting and the harvest. And so, we see that Buenos Aires is more than just a city. It's the hub of a vast agricultural network that stretches across Argentina. From the fertile fields of the Pampas to the bustling port of Buenos Aires, every element is interconnected each playing its part in this intricate system of food production and distribution. The agricultural strength of Buenos Aires is an undeniable testament to its geographical advantage. An export powerhouse, the port of Buenos Aires. Considered the lifeblood of Argentina's economy, this bustling port stands as a testament to the city's strategic location and its industrious spirit. The port of Buenos Aires, the busiest in Argentina, and one of the most active in South America is the primary outlet for the country's agricultural exports. This isn't just a matter of convenience, but a necessity born of the city's unique geography. Buenos Aires is nestled where the Parana and Uruguay rivers converge, forming the vast Rio de la Plata estuary, a waterway that is among the largest in the world. This incredible water network provides a natural highway for goods connecting the heartland of Argentina to the Atlantic Ocean, and from there to the world. But it's not just about moving soybeans and corn out of the country. The port also plays a crucial role in importing goods, from machinery and electronics to raw materials, which fuel Argentina's industries and support its citizens' livelihoods. It's a two-way street, a dance of commerce and trade that never stops, a rhythm that pulses with the heartbeat of the city, the port's impact on the economy is immense. It employs thousands directly and indirectly, contributing significantly to the country's GDP. It's like a giant open-air factory, where every container loaded or unloaded represents jobs, income and opportunities for Argentinians. But there's more to it than just economics. The port is also a symbol of Buenos Aires' resilience and ingenuity. Over the centuries, it has been expanded, modernised and adapted to meet the changing needs of global trade. It's a place where the past and the future meet, where traditional sailing vessels share the water with state-of-the-art container ships. The port's success also underscores the importance of infrastructure in leveraging geographic advantages. 
Without the ports, cranes, docks and warehouses, Buenos Aires' abundant resources and strategic location would mean little. It's a reminder that geography gives potential, but it's human effort and ingenuity that unlock it. The Port of Buenos Aires, a testament to the city's geographical gift and industrial prowess. A powerhouse of export, a hub of commerce, a symbol of resilience, the Port of Buenos Aires is all these and more. It's the beating heart of a city that for centuries has been shaping its destiny and influencing the world. Buenos Aires, a city intertwined with the lifelines of South America. When we talk about Buenos Aires, we can't neglect its vital water connections. This city is not just located on the coast, but it's also connected to the main arteries of South America, the continent's extensive river system. These rivers aren't just bodies of water, they are highways of trade and transportation, lifelines that nurture the land and its people. Take a look at the Parana River, for example. It's one of the longest rivers in the world and it flows right through the heart of Argentina, reaching Buenos Aires. This waterway is a conduit for goods from the interior of the continent, connecting landlocked regions to the Atlantic Ocean and the wider world. Then there's the Uruguay River, which forms the natural border between Argentina and Uruguay. This river, along with the Parana, feeds into the vast Rio de la Plata estuary, creating an extensive network of waterways that have been instrumental in shaping the economic and social development of Buenos Aires and indeed the whole region. But these rivers aren't just for transportation. They also play a crucial role in irrigating the fertile plains that surround Buenos Aires. These are the Pampas, some of the most productive agricultural lands in the world. Fed by the rivers, these plains produce an abundance of crops, from soybeans to corn, which are then transported via the waterways to the port of Buenos Aires for export. So you see, the water connections of Buenos Aires aren't just geographical features. They are vital lifelines linking the city to the rest of the continent and beyond, driving trade, agriculture and industry. They are the veins through which the lifeblood of the economy flows. The city's water connections, a geographical advantage that has shaped its agricultural and industrial sectors. The climate of Buenos Aires, a geographical advantage with a profound impact. Let's explore this fascinating aspect of Argentina's capital. Buenos Aires, sitting in the Southern Hemisphere, enjoys a temperate climate that is favorable for agriculture. But what makes it even more interesting is how its geographical position plays a vital role in shaping this climate. The city's geographical position allows it to benefit from moisture currents originating from the Amazon. Picture this, the world's largest rainforest, the Amazon, breathes life into the atmosphere. These moisture-rich air currents then embark on a long journey, crossing continents and oceans, but they encounter a formidable barrier, the majestic Andes Mountains. Now, mountains are known for their ability to redirect wind patterns. So when these moisture-laden winds meet the Andes, they are deflected eastward, heading straight towards Buenos Aires. This diversion results in an abundance of rainfall for the region. Regular showers ensure that the soil remains fertile and ready for cultivation, enabling Buenos Aires to sustain its agricultural productivity. This is not just beneficial for the city, but for the whole of Argentina. It's like nature's own irrigation system, providing a steady supply of water for the country's vast agricultural regions. As we've seen in previous scenes, Buenos Aires is surrounded by the most productive provinces in Argentina. And this rainfall plays a crucial role in maintaining that productivity. But it's not just about the rain. The climate of Buenos Aires also offers moderate temperatures with warm summers and cool winters, which is ideal for the growth of a variety of crops. This combination of rainfall and temperature creates a favourable environment for the cultivation of Argentina's main agricultural products like soybeans, corn and sunflower. In essence, the geographical location of Buenos Aires, coupled with the climate it experiences, paints a perfect picture of how geography and climate can bolster a city's, or in this case, an entire country's agricultural prowess. The city's climate, a geographical gift that has bolstered its agricultural prowess. And that, my friends, is the story of Buenos Aires' climate and environmental impact. Buenos Aires, a city poised for future challenges and opportunities. As we cast our gaze towards the future, we find Buenos Aires at a crucial crossroads. The city's geographic strengths, which have been instrumental in its growth and development, 
also present complex challenges that need to be navigated with care. Urban overheating, a phenomenon where city temperatures rise significantly compared to surrounding rural areas, is one such challenge. This is not unique to Buenos Aires, but is indeed a global urban issue. The city's concrete jungle absorbs heat during the day and releases it at night, leading to higher temperatures. This could affect public health and increase energy consumption. Overcrowding is another concern. As the city's population continues to grow, so does the demand for housing, infrastructure and services. This could strain the city's resources and exacerbate social inequality. However, it's not all doom and gloom. The city's geographical advantages present numerous opportunities. Buenos Aires' fertile surroundings and access to major waterways could be further leveraged to boost its agricultural sector. Innovations in farming technology could help increase crop yields, making Buenos Aires an even more significant player in the global agricultural market. Its port, a crucial conduit for exports, could be expanded and modernised to handle a greater volume of goods. This could enhance Buenos Aires' status as a vital logistical hub in Latin America. Lastly, the threat of rising sea levels due to climate change cannot be ignored. While this poses a significant challenge, it also presents an opportunity for Buenos Aires to lead in sustainability efforts. The city could invest in green infrastructure and climate-resilient urban planning, setting a benchmark for other coastal cities around the world. In the face of these challenges and opportunities, Buenos Aires stands resilient. Its geography, which has shaped its past, now holds the key to its future. Buenos Aires, a city whose geographical significance will continue to shape its destiny.